Hey boys and girls, welcome to Art Recycled with Mrs. Hallemeyer. Today we're gonna do a lesson called Funny Faces. And this lesson relates to a read aloud that's also on the YouTube channel, Art Recycled, of a book called The Way I Feel. I don't know about you boys and girls, but sometimes I have some pretty big feelings. And the book talks about those feelings and it talks about how sometimes doing art with certain colors can help you communicate those feelings. So sometimes if I don't know how to say how I feel, sometimes making a, a face with certain colors can help show people how I feel. So you can see this one that I made, this funny face, this is an example of it. This one kind of looks kind of happy and excited. I have happy colors in here like yellow and orange and bright magentas and he's smiling here and he's kind of got his mouth open saying wowza and his eyes are big, almost like he's excited or she's excited and surprised. And this one is mainly made of uh, items that I found around the house. Today you're gonna make me, or you're gonna see me make one that is made with mostly items that are from outside. So I'm just finding what I can to make my funny face. And this cardboard that I have in the back, this was just the cardboard from a cereal box, but you can also use paper too. You can even make the face out of paper too if you wanted to, if you didn't wanna use these objects. Now, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to have your, your objects for your face, crayons, and probably uh, this type of white glue. So this was obviously a happy one, and you can see the different objects I put in here from different household items that were from recycling. But today, I'm gonna make one that is sad. Now, when you think about sad colors, probably the first color that pops into your head is the color blue. And there's that saying that when I'm sad, I feel blue. So again, boys and girls, certain colors kind of make us think of different emotions. If you were angry, you might think of red. If you were shy, you might think of pink. If you were bored, you might think of brown or gray, right? So today I colored my cardboard with blues and purples and kind of blue greens because I'm gonna make a sad face. So the other one was happy, this one's not gonna be that way, okay? So I don't know about you, but sometimes during this quarantine time, you know, we could get in arguments with people or maybe we're just tired of being inside and it's okay to feel a little sad. So um, art isn't always about being happy, although we do wish we were happy all the time. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna build this face today. First thing I got from outside is I got pine cones. And so I'm gonna use pine cones to make my face, uh, my face's hair. And I'm adding quite a bit of that white glue because, well, I really want these to stick. So I'm gonna uh, fast forward some of this just so that again, you don't have to watch me build this whole thing. But boys and girls, you're gonna see me use pine cones, leaves from outside, sticks, and I'll also use some things that are from inside too, like paper cups, maybe even some tape, some string that I got from a gift wrap box. You can make hair also out of cotton balls or lint. Again, just think of being creative around your house. So you can just kind of watch and see what I use for this one and then we'll talk about supplies at the end. All right, boys and girls. So there is the sad face I created. You can see I have uh, the pop tabs as teardrops. I use sticks, rocks, pine cones, some string that I got from a gift bag handle, uh, bottle caps. Uh, you could use straws, Q-tips, cotton balls for hair, or lint from your dryer for hair. There are all sorts of ideas. Even maybe you could ask mom, dad for some paper clips or mechanical thingies, some wire that you could bend for a mouth. And again, boys and girls, if you don't wanna build it this way with liquid glue, you could just color the cardboard with the colors that you think match how you're feeling, and then you can make a face out of paper too. So boys and girls, I hope you like this lesson, and I hope you like the read aloud called The Way I Feel. I hope that you are safe during this time. Have fun making art, and I'll see you next time. Bye.